Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the stream. I'm just going to quickly turn my phone on mute. And then we should be ready to go. Hmm. I'm going to check to see if everything is fine on this end. Right, okay, so today uh, I will be showing you Winamp uh, and Titan working together. So it is easy to um, to use Winamp and t Titan. It's really easy to connect. Uh, in fact, it's already connected and literally all you need to do is turn the software on and it'll start working with Titan uh, like it has done here. Uh, so, as you can see, I have got my capture right above me as well, uh, and also the stream is going to be saved, uh, so if you want to watch back, you are more than welcome. Uh, and also, feel free to send in some questions as well, uh, but yeah. So, what I've got in here is, I'm just going to see if my desktop, yep, my desktop audio is on. So, I've got this song called Sorry I Had To Leave by Ollie Walker. Uh, so we'll be using this song. Uh, we won't be doing a massive time code thing, but it would be cool to kind of create something anyway, uh, just a little cue list. And uh, really, this is going to be like, a, as you might say, a, um, a part two from the last stream as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, so let's begin. So first off, uh, let me show you on how it's connected. So if we click time code, uh, we've selected Winamp time code here. So if we literally start a song again and we click play, as you can see, it's literally already connected. And all you need to do is just literally turn on the software and it'll start working. So, anyway, let's quickly build a cue list. So, let's kind of make it a bit more specific. Let's not just do a random thing like we did last time. Uh, also, feel free to share the stream, ask any questions you want, like and subscribe, that'd be very much appreciated. And yeah, so let's hear like the first few seconds of the song. So if we turn this on now. now right, okay, so what I'm gonna do first off is I'm gonna click record and I'm gonna create a cue list. I'm just gonna call it Sorry, because that is the name of the song. Uh, and also, um, in a way, uh, like I said, I'm not going to go too specific into it. Well, I am going to. Don't worry about that. I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to make tons of effects and make it boring. We're just going to go along with it. Um, but, yeah, so I will probably do a stream, hopefully, uh, like that in the future. So let's just go back to the beginning. So if we just... So that kind of sounds like... A few seconds so I think what I might do is use the beams for this part so I'll probably have them down like this same with the floor so if we just exit out of that real quick shapes and effects pick some up at edit group layout oh wait no we don't have to do that because we have the fixtures in here which I completely forgot because um, I've been playing around with another shaw file so yeah so I've already kind of built the file here so we don't have to go into anything awkward so let's just put all the lights facing down and then they kind of rise up there we go just turn them off card start oh sorry about that start put that in there there we go and then they all rise up not like that, that's a bit ugly. Uh, probably just like this. Yeah. So then we just type in rise. There we go. 
So if we start that now, it's very quick, so we don't want it to be that quick. So if we just, like, say, put five seconds. Oh, five seconds. How long is that? Still a bit long. So let's just put three seconds. Nope. It kind of sounds like it's a, a two second. I'm just guessing here. Right, hang on a sec. So let's just, so it's like. Right, okay, so it sounds probably maybe one second. So we'll just go like that. Or maybe two, actually. Or 1.5. So yeah, you can change the uh, fading and the delays in on however you want. So if we just do that again real quick. So we, I don't know if you can hear that little noise at the beginning. But we want it to kind of rise up like that. There we go. So what we can actually do to make this queue a little bit more interesting is play with the fixture overlap. So if I type in 50 on the fixture overlap. Well, I don't know if it's really the type of queue to do a fixture overlap, but you get what I mean. And what you can do to change that is if you click the tab, fixture overlap tab, click next, click next again until you see fixture order. You can actually select on which lights you want to come on first. So we'll select the inner ones on one, then two, then three, like that. So then, if we hopefully restart it, hmm, let's try 90. And the more you put it up as well, like, the more phase it'll get, if you know what I mean. So let's just put it at 80, see what that looks like. Okay. So then let's say we want it to kind of go into a, a wash, let's say. So let's just say a, I'm not sure, maybe a green. Put it more down, I'd say. And we won't really use the profiles because we haven't got it's not really a band song, is it? Put it like that. No, we won't put that on yet. So then we'll record that in and then we'll call that one wash. There we go. So clear that out. As you can see, the beams are actually on the wash as well. And let's say we don't want that. So again, that is in the tracking section. So if we change track into block, it won't. Oh, it won't follow the next queue. I don't think. Yeah. So it won't. It won't actually include the last queue. So if we put, let's say, a fade as well on the wash, so it goes. It rises up. Sorry, one second. Oh, never mind. So it rises up, and then it kind of goes into a fade. But let's change the beams. So it rises up, like that. Maybe put it at about three seconds. Because I don't know if you can see it, but when it goes up, we want it just to fade out instead of actually hitting the position and then fading out because it just kind of looks ugly so now if we select it now you can still it's kind of still hitting it a little bit and ignore that ignore that little flashy part then but yeah so uh let's hear the next part of the song so it's going like so it's really the break So let's add a keyframe shape on this next part. So instead of actually including the wash, what we can do is just turn on the uh, the point is the mega point is because I do want to include the washes as well on this next part. So we won't really include them because it'll already be included. So if we just take them down, take them off a go bar because we don't really want them on a go bar. Probably put the zoom to about there and maybe do maybe go like that yeah that's better so then what we can do is create a nice keyframe shape like a snap in and a fade out type thing so if we click shapes and effects keyframe shape create 
probably put that at the maximum there and then like that so now if we create a snap fade now and what we can also do as well is change the BPM so it's actually on the maybe that's a bit too fast probably put 64 bpm and the reason why i know that off the top of my head is because sorry i had to leave was actually made by my friend uh ollie walker otherwise known as mr road and also if you want you can actually change uh, the uh, spread but we will probably change that but let's have a look let's have an experiment let's probably go to Probably just put it in a nice snap fade. So now if we uh, record that, call that snap fade, put that in the lovely cue list. There we go. So if we start from now, so it's like fades up, wash, do, 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 do. and then it goes into snap fade like that. But obviously we don't really want it to you know move like that because as you can see it, it didn't really do a moving dark then so what we'll do is change the moving dark to early so then it's already moving dark and then what we'll probably do there is maybe add a little twinkle to the the uh, the, the beams as well add the beams in why not Oh, that is way too fast. Let's change that back. Now nah, we will add it. We will add that, and we'll keep it a little bit. We'll keep it a little bit basic. Why not? Delete that. And what we'll probably do as well is change the zoom of the mega pointies. So uh, we will probably go about go for a little specific one. Should we add a gobo in? Yeah, why not? And probably change the position as well. Oh. Again, I'm just kind of... I'm not going fast, but I'm not going slow at the same time. I obviously want it to look good, but not... You know, I don't want to focus into it properly. So, to update that queue, let's say we want to update the queue we just had to this so if we click the uh, the cue list click record uh, click the snap fade and click replace so then it'll replace the whole queue so if we go back right you see what I did something wrong there how you choose how you choose BPM do you mean how do I, sorry how do I choose BPM I'll show you actually so we'll go back a sec to the where we had the keyframe shapes which was about where was it now where did we create the keyframe shape and this is good not not many people know about this feature unfortunately uh so you can actually change like the um the undo history and everything so really what we should have done is we should have clicked release and released the key list because it looks like even though it looks like the effects are in the queue list, it actually isn't. It's just on a queue. Hello, Jai. Hello, my Australian buddy. <laughs> anyway, right. So we'll we'll create that keyframe shape again with the queue list released. So what we'll do is we'll add the gobo, a little nice flower, flowery gobo. Feel free to like and subscribe, everyone. That would mean so much change the there we go about there so now let's have like a little snap fade you know 64 bpm so if we click shapes and effects keyframe shape create we won't put that as a maximum because that's quite bright we'll put it about there and there we go and then like that add frame so we just created a keyframe shape with a section shapes and effects keyframe shape and then create so you can create anything with keyframe shapes. So if we add the snap fade now, that's 30 BPM, not too much at all. So you can see here where it says speed, it says 30 BPM. We can change that. So if we type in 64, 
it'll go to 64 BPM, as you can see, like it's doing now. So that's going to go to the timing of the song. So what we can do, like I said as well, is change the spread. And actually, I've changed my mind. Let's change it to 30 BPM and have it like that instead of just all flashing at once. So what we can do, well, what we have to do to replace the old cue that had nothing on it is record, select the cue, and replace. So if we click clear now, put that cue list up, go to the snap fade, as you can see, it's snap fading like that. And let's keep the washes on as well like that because we do like a nice stage wash at times. So we'll keep it like that. So now we'll have a look. So we've created four cues. This is really the break in a way, if I'm correct. So if we play the win amp. And then it kind of goes into a, a build-up in a way. So what we'll do is we'll include the wash by clicking include and wash. Ignore that. Ignore that. I'm sorry about that. Right. Then let's create a nice dimmer. Wait, we've got... Oh, oh oops. I accidentally selected all the fixtures. Uh, we need to select the washers. Create a nice dimmer. Why did I type in 34 BPM? I just completely got that wrong. It was 64. Uh, what we'll do is change the direction as well. Make it strobe. We will make it strobe. Don't worry about that, Jai. So we'll go like that. So this is kind of like this build up. In fact, I have an idea. Instead of doing that, we'll do another keyframe shape like a snap fade like we did with the spots. But with the spots and washers. So if we get the spots and washers, keyframe shape, create. There we go. Let's, hang on a sec. I want to release that cue just for safety because sometimes that messes with me and I don't like it. So there we go. And also, I don't think that go bar is right, so we'll change it to there. So hang on, let's check to see what our last cue was. So it was the snap fade, like that. So we'll select the washers and the spots. Turn them on and off. There we go, we've got them. So we'll create, uh, let's put the spots on a lower intensity. There we go. Add frame and then off. Add frame. Oh, right, okay. One sec, let's get rid of that one there. So, if you want to edit any of the pay, uh, the uh, the cues, or I don't know what you would call it, on. Um, oh, one sec, sorry, someone's trying to call me. Sorry about that. Uh. Okay, so basically, if you want to change any of these here, what we can do is change the intensity if we want, uh, put the washers on there, and you can see, <coughs> sorry, the washers aren't actually little blue down here. Let me just turn off my camera so you can see. So when it's little blue, that means, like that, that means it's in the programmer now. So, yeah. Uh, what about sending a white pulse through the beams whilst they are on green? Oh, right, okay, what? Hang on a sec. Let me, uh, what, have the pointies on as well, or just have, like, the beams on like this? Oh. What we, what we can do is take that keyframe shape out. Edit, delete that. See what. Because Gary's got an idea and it sounds like a good one. So let's turn on the washers. Because obviously there is a bit of a delay, so it might take me a while to answer with the stream. So let's just create something right now. So let's just. Until he replies. Because I might be. So we'll. So it kind of goes like. Duh, duh. 
with the snare. So I'll show you with the snare. So it's like. So Oh that looks fancy. Put the washers. Probably do another snap fed with the washers, why not? Add down add beautiful. And then probably add that as build one. There we go. So then what I was thinking was adding a little fill. So if we hear the song real quick. So it kind of goes like, right, right, you know what I mean? Right, there we go. So what we could do is do something with the spots again because what I did earlier uh, was I made these little uh, palettes so we could go rig left and then rig right in a way and again I'm just I'm not rushing but like obviously I don't want to make it boring so if you know what I mean so we won't program the whole song otherwise we might even do a stream where we program the whole song and maybe do it on the console as well um, and do it in like a, in parts. So rig left. <coughs> Pardon me. Rig left. Put that up. There we go. Down. And then rig right. After him. Down. Oh. Put that down. Rig right. Replace two. Why is that doing that? Very weird. We want the side, that side to be off. We want this side to be on. Must be doing something wrong. Let me do that again, one sec. Select them. Keyframe shape. Because I think what you need to do is actually select them all first. Put it on, put it down, so it's recorded off in the programmer. It's left. Oh, sorry about that, sorry about that. So left was on. Then it's right. Add frame. Off. I think it's kind of... Nah, it's done something there. One sec, what we'll do quickly is just put them onto a snap. Because as you can see, it's working in a way. But the uh, little disco thing just kind of screwed up the lights a little bit. So what we'll do is just add the gobo again. Is edit. And then it was... Let's just experiment. So we've got three, B three BPMs for this song. We've got 30, 64, and 120. 120 being the main one. So if we try 120... So that kind of looks similar, in a way. So I would add a lot more into this. Sorry about that. I still need to add my Evo key. As you can see, I've got my Titan Evo key here, which I will make a video on. So let's record that. Call that fill. Put that in our cue list. So what we'll do as well is change track into block. Uh, we will also put moving darks onto the first builds we just created. So let's give it a go. So it rises in the song. Wash comes on. Snap fade. To the song. And then it kind of starts to build up. Fill. And then. And then let's hear what our next part is. What's our next part? <laughs> So let's have a look. So, mm, what could we add? Where's the 
so this is the first part of the build up. Fill. Second part. Interesting. Oh, one sec. Yeah, so let's check this out again. So that was the first. This was the first build. Da -da 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 and then, and then what we could do is a, a rise with the gobo spinning at the same time. So we'll probably put it on full. Oh wait, now I'm changing the pattern here. <laughs> I'm I am not used to Titan Simulator. I've I always use my console for absolutely everything. Here we go. So it kind of rises up, maybe about there. Maybe not rise. Wait, so we were down here at first. Probably put it to about there. And then also add a little dimmer effect with the what the, the beams again. Dimmer spread. Super. So by the way, if you don't know what that is, let me go back to that. If you click the beams again. Let's just see where our beams are a second. And also, let's just release this because I just want to. Because <laughs> I don't want it accidentally thinking like, oh. Anyway, right. So, let's uh, let's say, okay, let's put our beams to there. Which were there before, I think. Maybe forward. I can't remember. Anyway, let's put it there. So, let's click shapes and effects. Shape generator. Create. Dimmer. Dimmer spread. So you see here, it's a super linear and group. Now, what linear does is it's like pixel mapping. So if you've got a wash that can be pixel mapped, then obviously linear is the, the pixel mapper. And uh, yeah. So uh, I just got so many messages in. That was a really weird delay. Uh, so I'm sorry if I didn't. I'm sorry if it took me for ages to reply to that, but I just re re just got so many messages in one go, and my, I just I'm scared about my Wi-Fi. So yeah, uh, what we will do is create a a super. So super is not a pixel mapper. Have I even edited these layouts? Oh, sixty-four. With the point is slowly going up, like so. Maybe put it about there with that go, but while spinning. There we go. 100% spin. Rise, rise in. We'll call that rise in. Put that on the queue. Tap it again. There we go. So now if we select it. Uh, so that's a fill and then we go and it kind of goes up. So what we need to do is that looks h Horrible, so what we need to do is change the track into block And what we'll do as well actually is we'll make the beams rise so we'll put the beams to about forward like that so let's merge that in let's, Instead of replacing the whole thing we can just merge that in so click in the queue and then merge there we go so if we try that now, fail, but that's a bit too fast. We obviously want it to rise up slowly. So if we type in maybe two, so dip, dip, do, 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 nah, because obviously it goes left to right, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's have a moving dark for the beams though, because the beams are rising from the roof. So it did do. Hmm. Right, okay, so we don't want it to look too ugly, obviously, so we've got the fill. You see, that's a nice fill, but again, I just. So it's did do. Maybe we should just kind of do it with the washers in a way on that part, so let's include that. Keyframe shape, edit, change that, 
Oh, so now we're in the turn the wash the spots off. Hang on a sec, what the hell? So is that still in our programmer? Yeah it is, so I'll probably just do that again because Right, okay, yeah, I need to re release the queue list, which I keep forgetting. Make sure to release the queue list. That's very important. So if we click include, wherever it is, include is there. Build, oh, wait, no, god damn it, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. Right, I'll probably just do it again, so I'll just do it with the washes. So we're going to fixtures. I just keep forgetting there's a fixtures workspace there already. Right, so let's select the washers, keyframe shape, cre create, turn them all off, left side, boom, right side, boom. There we go, we'll change them to snap. There we go, 128. And then let's just set our wash the spots down for safety. And then let's record that. Let's just open this workspace up a little bit more. There we go. And let's record that on the, s on the fill and replace. So now if we try it. As you can see, it's just the washers. And yeah. So let's just listen to that part again. Right. Now, there's one thing that confuses me a little bit. So you can see how that's there let's just add a one on delay you can kind of see how the last queue fades out but we don't really want it to fade out so it did there but it fades out which is quite annoying so we don't want that to fade out but so i think that's why i'm not fully sure i may not be correct but Obviously, we want it to snap to blank and then rise up. We don't want we don't want the washers to fade out, if you know what I mean. So what we might have to do is create f a, like a fake queue, but I'm not fully sure. I might be wrong, but if Sam is here or anyone like that, they might have an idea on why that happens and if there is a way to fix it. So if we just call up set. No, blackout. Oh, sorry. There we go. Right, blackout. We move that to there. So then, as you can see now, if we try it. So it goes fill. And obviously we need to add a tracking block onto the blackout. So if we try that now, fill. But yeah, why is that? Okay, let's just turn it off. A second. What we need to do as well is, the reason why I've added a blackout onto here is because, the reason why is because we don't want the beams just moving in as well. We want just the spots. So, if I just create a simple down. And, oh. Oh, God. Why aren't my cue lists showing up? One sec. That's weird. That is very weird. Why isn't my cue list showing up now? Everything else is working. What? That is very weird. Why is my cue list not showing? Hang on a sec. It's not showing up behind there. 
Oh, God's sake. Let's just copy that. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Can we view that one as well? No. Alright, we'll probably just have to use this copy one then. That was weird. That was really weird. I'm not too sure why it wasn't showing up then. But yeah, right, okay, so I think my I don't know, is my is my chat working? My live chat because it seems to be very I don't know, it just seems to be going a bit dodgy. I'm not sure why. So if anyone knows if my chat is working, please let me know because it's like saying there's six people watching on my stream deck, but there's Okay, now it's changed. Right, there we go. Sorry, I thought my uh, live chat was going weird then. Uh, right, there we go. So, rise up like so. Why is there a bunch of cues in here? Probably because I've been clicking insert. That's probably why it's been not working. So, give me a second. <laughs> Only on a stream. Only on a stream. There we go. Right, blackout. Let's try the blackout. Fill. So you can see how there is like a little blackout thing now on the um, on the queue list, but obviously we want it to kind of be like we want the, sw the spots to be down. So let's just move this over here, put the spots down. And the reason why, again, I'm doing this, and I know there's a moving dark on, but that's because I don't want my beams moving either. So if we just try that now, fill. Let's just turn off moving dark. Let's just turn it off. Fill. There we go. Probably just keep it like that. And then... Let's probably change the, the spot so it's facing forward. A bit more, yeah. There we go. So now that's facing forward. We'll try that now. Fill. Rise. And then it kind of strobe so let's add a random strobe onto that that's not even a random strobe what we'll do is we'll clear all that we'll release that we'll include the last queue and then change the queue so it kind of creates a random strobe and take off the dimmer spread on the beams what I did there was delete the dimmer spread and then add a strobe on the beams as well there we go now let's record that R&D call it R&D for short for random strobe there we go so now let's add a tracking let's just put this to its normal position just so we can see it there we go so let's change the R and D Q to tracking. So let's change it to block. So now it'll rise up like so. Wash. Let's add a moving dark for the washes as well because, as you can see, it did have to fade into the green. Snap fade. There we go. And then it kind of builds up. Failed. It did. Random strobe. Why aren't this? Why aren't the spots random strobing? Oh, that's weird. Let's just record that in. Merge. So it rises up. There we go. Right. And then it goes. I've closed Winamp. Did I close Winamp? I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, okay, let's, um... So it goes like this. Random stroke. So it goes like... The hi-hats a little bit. We kind of, we kind of are programming the whole... Well, not, we're not programming the whole song, we're just programming the intro. But it's just kind of to show you on how Winamp works as well. Because Winamp is really easy to set up. So we'll add more of it as well. Uh, go away, go away, go away. Let's add that in. Keyframe shape. Create. Up. Down. And then we'll create like a... Ch 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 so what we'll do is... 
probably change that to 64. Probably out of nice. Snap fade in there. And then it kind of goes like that. Okay, and then we'll could probably call that a hat so we know what that is. There we go. Let's check that out. And as you can see, the uh, the the my, uh, the maker point is still strawberry. And we don't want that, so we'll click block. There we go. Let me just check to see, because I think my live chat has just killed itself on my computer. So let me just check the 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 actual stream itself just to see for safety. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am sorry. There, there has been messages. Uh, wow. Hello, Steve Watts. Uh, no worries, Janet. Uh, the the stream wasn't actually on. Wait, was it yesterday? No, it was Wednesday yesterday. So it wasn't on yesterday. It was on Tuesday. So I will have my uh, live chat here now. So I am sorry if I have missed any questions at all. Uh, but for some reason, my live chat on my computer has just decided to go bye bye, which we do not want. So anyway, that's the heart. And then what we'll do is we'll create a, let's create more of a, so it goes like, doom. So let's do a nice, wait, hang on a second. Has my whole internet explorer just crashed on me? One second. I'm sure it'll be fine. It is still streaming. So yeah. Let me just check this out a second. It won't take too long. It won't take long at all. I just need to refresh this. Why did I even use internet? Oh yeah, that's why. Because my CPU was going to blow up. <laughs> oh lord. There we go. That's better. Right. Okay, so we don't need this now. Right, feel free to like. <laughs> in fact, I will probably have my uh, phone on anyway. Just for safety. Just in case. But yeah. Let's uh, let's carry on. So we've got the hat in. Uh, let's do it. So it goes like dim. So I was probably gonna use like an, a blind thing with the strobes. Why is my Amazon Echo just start to play Martin Garrix? Alexa, stop. What the hell? Right. Sorry about that. Weird. Um, <laughs> right, okay, yeah, that was a bit strange, um, my Amazon Echo just started playing Garrix, right, anyway, so it goes like, ch 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 boom, so also, by the way, everyone, just to let you know, yes, I did forget to add a strobe in here, uh, so it goes like, do, oh, hang on a sec, I've just completely lost my thought now, uh, one sec, so, so it goes like this, Yeah, I'll probably just add a strobe in. What's that? Let me just turn off my camera so you can see the wheels. So let's turn them on a little bit. Let's add a strobe in. Probably put it green. Damn. Or maybe just like a blind. Yeah, blind will do. So we'll just call that blind. There we go. Put that in that. Lovely jubbler. I've got to stop saying lovely jubbler. There we go. Right, okay. So it goes like... Boom. And then we'll do... Right, this is the drop now. This is where things get more fun. This is where things get more fun, trust me. So, we'll create a... A circle. <laughs> Let's 
take the other side. Go on, fixtures view. And let's reverse that other side. No, don't apologise, it's fine. Uh, it's every uh, Tuesday and Thursday, so don't worry about that. So if you ever want to uh, watch the stream back as well, then you're more than welcome. Right, okay, we might have to change the uh, spread. So let's change the spread first. Let's change the offset to, is it 90 the offset needs to be? Hang on, so that's really weird. Just go like down. Throw some magenta in, yeah. I'll throw some magenta in actually. Hang on, which one's this? Alright, okay. Probably set that to 180. Phase offset. Hang on a sec, what I will do is quickly. Right, okay, so that's kind of working on that side. Let's get this side working. 180. Oh, that's just done everything. Well done, Elliot. You donkey. Let me restart the, not restart the uh, movement, but I will restart it because sometimes when you don't restart it, it can go a little bit dicky. So we'll restart it and then do it. So let's just select one side first. So let's just turn off the offset for everything. So let's just put phase offset to zero. So what we need to do is... Probably change that to 180. So you can see I have to change the ones on the floor as well because because they are in a different rotation on capture. So now let's create this bloody circle. The corporate circle as Sam Parry calls it. There we go. We won't go too mental with the speed. I hate doing this on mouse. But it's alright. Change it to 30. Right. Okay. Lovely. Probably change that to magenta. Yeah, magenta, because uh, Gary Smith said we should change it to magenta, which is a good idea. Mega point it. Probably also change that to a beam. I'm not going to go for the classic circle. Even though it kind of looks like I'm going for the classic circle. Put that to zero. There we go. Probably that put that magenta as well. Ooh. Probably add a circle on the, the spots. And then do a nice... Something. Oh, there we go. Right, I think we're back. Right, okay, uh, lovely. We are back. On my end. There we go. Let me know if I'm back, if that's okay. Uh, that would be very much appreciated. And we'll carry on. Thank you, internet. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, what Wi Fi can do? Takes all your viewers, crashes your laptop, does everything. <laughs> right, anyway, we won't program the job. We'll just, we'll, we'll, I'll show you the the basic time code part now because I think programming the job is just, I think we're just risking it a little bit in a way. But yeah. So if we check everything, oh, we might do actually. Yeah, we'll we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, and if it's all okay, everyone, I'm I'm just gonna quickly use the toilet. If that's okay, I'll be back in a second. Please give me a minute. I'll be back. One second.
I am back. Also, everyone, feel free to like the stream. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, let's carry on. So, I think we will just program the drop because it's just going to annoy me. Uh, so let's just go back real quick to this, which is wonderful. And then what we'll do is we'll put on the, the washers as well, maybe. Yeah, probably just put that for now. Uh, so we'll record that drop There we go uh, I'm not gonna go too much into it and bore you all with making effects and everything And yeah, right, okay, and what I'm gonna do is well what I am gonna start doing is I'm gonna start using my brain and I'm gonna I'm gonna get my other computer out and use that for capture because that just makes the stream lag so much and uh, yeah so I apologize for that but yeah so let's just quickly check to see if the time code is going through on Winamp oops pull out to there as you can see it is receiving so I'm not sure really on how we're going to do this because what we want to do is connect this cue list and we want to click record. Does it play as well? Does it play the? Okay, so that makes life much easier. So instead of actually going into different softwares all the time and everything, and you know, to play the song, what you can do is just click play like that. from Titan so now let's create us a lovely lovely time code so oh, uh, you see that you see that I'm sorry about that so at least we know <laughs> it's receiving yay <laughs> so let me just uh, reset that take record mode off let's go to the start that's it might need a little bit more fast to rise so we'll set that back to two uh let's record reset and play no, it again. hang on a sec let me just have a look at this sec let me just disable that go through so let's do a quick test let's just do a quick run through so Yeah, that's definitely quite fast. I didn't realise. So what we'll have to do is go through again. Right, okay. Also, we need to change that to block. So it doesn't follow the other cues. There we go. So, time code, reset, play. Yeah, we'll probably set it like that. I'm happy with that. Even though it doesn't look, that, doesn't look the best. Even though it doesn't look the best, we'll probably just use it anyway. So let's record, make sure the cue list is connected, and let's do the time code. So reset, play. So I'm just going through on the cue list here. Now you know why I had to go, I had to go. Perfect, 128 BPM. So as you can see, I've just been flashed to go through each one. Um, you can change the time specifically on the cues as well, which I will show you in a second. Lovely. Okay. So that's just created us a time code, but I need to make a moving dark on the drop. So let's create a moving dark real quick. Put that to early. And remember, I don't think it's not going to be the best one. Like I said, I just kind of rushed this a little bit uh, in a way. So I didn't really want to bore you guys. 
Uh, I do want to let you know as well that I have actually created the, uh, well, Avalites, um on their consoles. Hopefully by the next exhibitions, whenever that's going to be. Uh, I did do the time code light show for their consoles. I'm not sure if it's out yet, um, but I, it was in the showreel, so uh, it, obviously the, the next exhibition is going to be quite a while away yet, so... Mm. So if you do see a time code light show um, on the consoles, it's probably made by me, wherever you are in the world. So let's check out this time code. Again, not the best, but we'll have a look. And you see what I did there? I did something totally wrong. I forgot to uh, enable the timer. Hello, uh, Cedric. Uh, let's select win -am. Oh, wait, no, let's just select which type of time code. We're going to select timer enabled. Reset, and let's have a look at this. Go on that view. Lovely. And in a nutshell, I haven't programmed anything else on here yet, just so everyone knows. Uh, hello, Vowoda. I think I said that right. I'm not too sure, but if I haven't, I'm sorry. I apologise. Uh, and also, sorry if the stream is being laggy. Uh, I'm a stupid person and decided to stream Capture Titan when I'm and everything on one laptop, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, I should have really had another PC or something like that, which I will do very soon. But yeah, so really, I think we've come to an end. I think it's been really good. We've kind of, well, we have made a time code with Winamp. Um, and if anyone has any questions, well, that's stupid. I just try to, sorry about that. I just try to send, uh, all right, that's weird. Uh, I'm not even sure what that does. Oh, there we go. Right, so I've got a stream deck and I made a little um, macro. So when I click it, it sends a message onto there. So make sure to start sending in your questions. Also, please like and subscribe. Subscribe! We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Let's do it. Come on. Uh, and, uh, yeah, subscribe and like and all that stuff. Thank you, Gary. Very much appreciated. Uh, again, it's not fully finished. It's just something that I messed around with. But we, shall, we should make a stream where we actually make a full-time code light show. Which I think would be pretty cool. And uh, yeah. So. Yeah please start sending in your questions. Otherwise we will probably end it. Cause, or otherwise. Because I'm getting a little temptation in my mind. That we should kind of carry on this. A little bit. But it's really Winamp time code. And I don't really want someone to look at it. And it's like. You know they're looking for a video about time code. The scene mine it says four hours. It's like Jesus Christ. I'm not watching that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, I'll probably make a separate video for Time Code and maybe make a proper light show, which I think would be pretty cool. And also, uh, the stream will be on still on, on YouTube. So, if any of you, any of you want to uh, re watch it, uh, you are more than welcome to rewatch it, and uh, yeah, and also make sure to follow my uh, social media down in the description. Elliot underscore SSL on Instagram, Spiral Sage Line on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and also subscribe on YouTube and like and share and all that jazz. Are you doing a subscribe special? We should do. We should make a subscribe special, Renz. But what should we do? Because I'm not really sure. I mean, when I hit like 500 subscribers. I think I can't remember how many subscribers it was. I gave out free merch, but that was like, and then it just kind of boosted so fast, and I couldn't keep up with doing subscribe specials, subscriber specials. But and also make sure to join the Discord server down in the description. Uh, we have funny chats and 
yeah, just production stuff in one server. Fraser's is saying carry on. I think we should carry on a little bit. Let's just have a look though, because I don't really want to go too much. And also, let's just disable the timer for now. So it's like... Da, 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 da. And also, I do want to show you one thing as well. So what we can do is copy these cues as well. So let's just put it there. And obviously, we do need to change the timing on these, because... It's copied from there, so it goes like blind, blind, and then blind again. Oh, so it goes like blind, boom. And then probably put the hat in as well on the end part as well. You see, we've just extended the light show just from copying a few cues. Like, that's amazing. You should do a show with us. Well, well, as in, like, do a, a time code show, like, building a time code show, doing, like, a show on, like, live or whatever. There's no shows at the moment, which is sad. Well, there is something happening. I don't really want to say it because I don't know if I can do it yet. But uh, you should see it on social media soon. I, I, I do need to do all the safety checks and everything like that. Because it is, it's a big project, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and it's just me doing it. It's not a, it's not a show, but it's uh, you will see teasers soon if it will happen. And also, I have recently got my Titan editor key for my Titan simulator. So you won't see the flashy stuff anymore. And also we can do I'm gonna do a video on how to install the Titan editor key. Uh, and also do a little review on version thirteen probably. Well, probably I say yes. So just put that there. And also I've got my old Titan one still, look at that. <laughs> the old Titan one. As you can see, it is the dongle. I got this six years ago. <laughs> so yeah, I can't believe I've still got this. It's amazing. I can't get it back in though. But now they do a, a, t a T1 box, like a little boxy type thing, which is pretty cool. Thank you, Gary, for joining the stream. It is very much appreciated. Uh... No, if you have an event that we can come to after this. Well, like an actual event. I mean, it'd be quite hard getting everyone tickets. <laughs> Although I did have a... Uh, I was doing a little meeting once, actually. Uh, with a production company and everything. And we were mentioning about doing the, the spiral stage, like in backstage experience. And do type of thing where a few people, if they win, they get to come along with me to a show. Uh all expenses paid and do some experience on a show but I'm not too sure about that yet because it is quite hard to do that uh, but yeah so uh, yeah uh, if anyone has got any questions as well because we're about to end please answer uh, please uh, put them in the live chat now um, otherwise I'll probably end in a few minutes actually so we'll give it a few minutes uh, and uh, yeah so yeah, that is how to create a Winamp time code, and all you need to do is just turn it on and it'll connect. Simple as that, you don't need to go into settings or anything like that, you just literally turn it on and it connects straight away. And what you can also do is actually patch in the Winamp, so if we type, if we click patch, fixtures, Winamp, I don't know what, who made Winamp? I forgot. Anyway, you got to type in the manufacturer who made Winamp, and then type in Winamp, and then yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this stream, everybody. Uh, please make sure to subscribe and like, uh, and that'd be very much appreciated. The next stream is going to be on Thursday. No, the next stream is going to be on Tuesday at 4 p.m., Great British time. 4 p.m. Great British time. Come up, come back to this channel and we will be doing another live stream. Uh, and I promise you it will be great. It will be great. 
So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, like, subscribe. We're almost at 2,000. If we get to 2,000, we'll do something awesome, I promise. We'll do something awesome. And, uh, yeah. So if we can get to that ASAP, that would be awesome. So let's do it. So thank you for watching the stream, everyone. It's been great. It's been really fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope this has helped. This stream will be uh, available to rewatch, and uh, yeah. So thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Thank you.